All right, how is everyone doing today? Today is Wednesday, about 5 p.m., and I just got to my open house for a Twilight tour. Um, I recorded a video on Sunday, which was a great video, but I recorded it about 9 o'clock at night when I was driving home from work, and I thought you could see, even though it was getting pretty dark, but when I went to rewatch it to edit, edit it, it was all black. So I'm debating on posting it no matter what, just because it was such a good video, or redo the video, because it's a little bit of a, a rant about uh, customers and other uh, real estate agents, which is actually pretty interesting about a couple stories I have, about a couple things that have happened in my very young real estate career. So it's about a little after five, so I already got set up with everything. Um, see you in a bit. All right, so I just had a gentleman come through and uh, he is very interested in the house and he's even more interested in the land. All right, so back to what I was saying before is, I guess I'll just, uh, the video that I'm not gonna post because it was all black and you couldn't see anything. Um, I will try to redo some of it right now real quick. So I've only been a realtor about a year and a half and I've been noticing a certain thing that's been happening more often than I would think in this business. My first transaction, um, during the inspection, um, I had buyers, I brought in buyers, and during the inspection, the homeowners were there, nice old couple. And as the inspection is happening, I am chatting it up with the homeowner. And I asked him how he knew his listing agent, who was a younger guy, kind of like myself maybe a little older, and has been in the business for longer, way longer than I have. And he said that he just saw an ad in the paper saying, how much is your home worth? And he called them, he said two days later the house was listed, a couple weeks later it was sold, and we came and bought it. I said, oh, okay, interesting. He's like, yeah, the old man's talk telling me, and he said, uh, yeah, he's like, I actually know so-and-so from your office who is an older gentleman that's been doing real estate for 40 years probably. And I was like, okay, and it kind of caught me off guard because why would he list with this guy who he's never met before, just saw an ad in the paper, and then bam, calls him up and lists with him. Why he wouldn't call his friend of 30 years. Maybe not a friend, but a close enough person to know that this guy's been in real estate full time for 30 years. And it's kind of confusing because both times that these homeowners did not hire their friends, they ended up hiring somebody else, was because those other people were being more annoying. You ever hear the saying, um, the greasy uh, or the squeaky wheel gets the grease? I hate that saying with all my heart. And in this scenario in real estate, that saying actually works and it drives me crazy. Because I'm trying to build a database of relationships and friends and people that I work for that would refer me. I don't want to spend thousands sending ads out to every house possible and not getting listings, sending door-to-door -door mailers, um, doing Facebook ads. I want someone to call me because they know me. Obviously, I'll take any listing. I'm being silly, but... I want someone to call me because they know me or they're referred to me so we have that little bit of trust already. So I'm starting to think if, to make it in this business, do I have to be the most annoying realtor and just do a million mailings a month and run constant ads? If that's the case, I don't want to be in real estate, I'll be honest. But I'm trying to build, I'm trying to build a good foundation. And actually, if you see the brick right here, they didn't just come one day and put up all this brick. They started from the very bottom and they worked their way up. And that's what I want to do with my business. I don't care if it takes me longer. I want my house to last forever. I don't want to have to be running ads in 10 years. I don't want to be knocking on people's doors asking if they want to sell their house or if they want to live with me. I don't want to be licking envelope and sending mailers. 15 years from now. I want my business to stand the test of time. I want people to know me and trust me and refer me and not be like the other other people who just get a transaction and that person's out of their mind forever. 
I don't want to be like that. I want to build a relationship with them and I want to tell my clients that once the transaction is over, it is now the beginning of our relationship. I heard an interesting stat a couple months ago how real estate agents are one of the most least respected like professions out there. And I'm starting to know why, because that's kind of how they are where they're just get a listing, get a buyer, try to, not all realtors, realtors are like this. I know a lot of really good ones, but I also know some of the good ones who are also like this, who are going to tell you whatever you want to hear, lie to your face just to get the home sold. I know of a big realtor in the area who actually did that and it just kind of blows my mind why someone would do that and not be honest and grow their business the right way. But what the hell do I know? I've been in real estate for a year and a half, so who am I to tell anyone who does way more sales than I do? But that's my plan and that's my goal and I'm going to stick to it for now anyways. I don't know if I'll stick to it 10 years from now because uh, everyone's spending more money on advertising and I'm not, not going to do that. I'm definitely going to do a little advertising, but I'm going to focus in on it and do certain situations and areas and see if I ever get calls and try to track my progress to see the best way to get new listings and new buyers. All right, it's almost seven o'clock, so the open house is almost over. Just had that one person so far, but that one person was had a lot of interest and he had another home to sell, so we'll see. Um, he was my first person that I used uh, the open to close app for. I keep looking over that way because that's the driveway. Um, he was the first person I used the open and close app for where it's a quick fill out your name app and uh, two, three questions, maybe an email address. And it gets saved to my like database and I get to see, I get to find them on Facebook and see if they're working with another agent if they've been to other open houses or whatnot, so that's exciting. But anyways, this will be the closing of this vlog. Thank you for watching, and again, remember, every Friday, I will be uploading some kind of video. And maybe some Friday, I will upload that 10-minute rant that I did in the dark that's kind of like this video. Who knows? We'll see. Um, if you could leave a like, I'd appreciate it, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.